Hi from 1823 Sevens Trainer. Today we've got a leg workout with a little bit of back going to be thrown in and cardio to um, develop explosive speed and power and endurance. Okay, the difference with every workout today, we're going to be working on a lot of reps. So we're going to pick, for example, the leg extension or the hamstring curl, and we're going to be going individual legs the whole time, but we're going to start with 10 reps. We're going to work our way down. So we'll go 10 reps with the left, 10 with the right, 9 with the left, 9 with the right, 8, 8, 7, 7, the whole way down to 1. Okay, so we start off with the leg prayer, leg extension. Okay, you don't need the back press, keep that down so you're utilizing your core. Start off right leg, make sure your toe is nice and flexed, driving it up. Okay, for the full set of the 10 reps. Okay, the whole time, good control, you're not just dropping it back down. Then change legs, same situation, okay? You don't leave this machine until you've got all the way down, you work your way down to one repetition. So again, it's important with this, you don't put the weight too high to where you can't complete the exercise. You do want your legs to start feeling it at around the seven reps, okay? So as soon as you're getting to seven, six, five, four, you really want to have a good burn going. After we've done the leg press or leg extension, we're going to go over to the leg press. In between every single exercise, grab a jump rope and work for 100 reps, okay? So what you're looking to do, keep your core nice and tight, just driving it through, good speed, okay? Making sure the whole time, short jumps, okay? You don't want high jumps, you want to really develop your explosive power and explosive speed. Do that for 100 repetitions. Come over the leg press. Okay, same deal that we did on the leg extension. Start off with your one leg, work that through, driving, make sure you get all the way nice and back, don't cheat it. Okay, go nice and deep for 10 reps. Again, utilize a weight that you're able to do this for the length of time, okay? Again, change legs, crank out, 10 repetitions. Make sure here that you're pushing through the heel, not the ball of your foot, okay? So the same as with the leg extension, driving out 10, 9, 8, whole way down to 1. Go back over, use the jump rope, 100 repetitions. Okay, no rest. From here we go over to the hamstring curl. Okay, same thing, make sure you adjust the weight accordingly, keep your core nice and tight, one leg bringing it up, okay, the whole time keeping that toe flexed. Keep your head up so your back's nice and flat, driving out the 10 reps. Same deal, change legs, work your way the whole way down, okay, until you get to one rep, changing back and forth. After that, same as before, grab the jump rope, okay, crank out 100. From here, find yourself where your calf raise, your step. I got 65 pounds, obviously use whatever weight you need. Same thing, one leg at a time, core nice and tight. Full range of motion from negative, whole way up, okay? Working for 10 of them. Change hands, make sure the weight's on the side that the leg that you're working, okay? Same thing, 10 reps. Go through that, the whole way down, nine, eight, seven, six, same deal. Grab the jump rope, 100 repetitions, okay? After that, we come over right here, we're gonna use the slider, okay? If you don't have a slider, go into the aerobics room. You can utilize that wood floor. One leg's out, you're basically doing a sliding reverse lunge. Down, bring it up, keep core nice and tight. If you want to, you can use a medicine ball here, so you're utilizing more of your abdomen. Again, 10 of them, change legs. No rest, guys. This whole workout is designed to not need rest, okay? You get the necessary rest that you need when you're sitting on the machines, okay? And then you get the muscle um, rest when you're jump roping. Same thing after you've gone 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, all the way down. Back to the jump rope, 100 reps. Last exercise, okay? Use your curl bar, bring it up. And all you're doing here is drop lunges. All the way, let your knee get to within an inch of the ground. 10 of them, change all the way down, 10 of them. Same thing, changing back into nine, okay? If this gets really difficult because it's the end of your, tail end of your workout, lose the weight, just do the drop lunges in place. End off with 10 minutes, either on the bike or on the treadmill. You're not trying to go crazy on this, you're trying to open your stride, loosen up your legs, enjoy the workout. We'll post another one soon, thank you.